coming up in today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Merlin Light makes a successful first flight. Also, Virgin Galactic preps for the first space flight from Spaceport America. And season coming to an end for the B-29 duck at its final Kansas Ride weekend. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Kay, your new Airborne host. We have a packed episode today filled with the latest news. So let's start with some exciting news from the Merlin Light. A real ultralight makes its first flight. We recently noted Avro Marine's LSA's Merlin Light made its first flight quite successfully. The Merlin Light is an uncommon aircraft, meaning the FAA's Part 103 rules with no license or registration is required. The old aluminum construction Merlin Light is ready to fly, which includes the engine, EFIS, GPS, an electric trim, as well as a BRS 500 emergency parachute recovery system, which the FAA approved the parachute weight exemption. A safety feature, if landing on a short field, is the dual hydraulic brakes that provide stopping power, and the cockpit promises enough room for a six foot, six inch pilot. The machine is powered by a small 36 HP Poloni 250DS, two stroke engine with dual ignition. The aircraft is still undergoing flight testing, and once that wraps up, we're hoping to take it on a flight test of our own. And once it goes on sale, it could be yours for $35,000. Coming up, Expedition 64 arrives safely to the ISS, just in time for an upcoming space anniversary. We'll tell you which one after the break. We've been using Swift Fuels for five years. We use it on two different Rotax powered aircraft. Swift Fuel gives us the power we need, the reliability we need. We've also found that it has a very long shelf life. It runs clean. We don't have to scrub gunk out of our oil tank. It makes a huge difference compared to 100 low lead. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. With so much going on in the aviation industry, we're going to give you a quick rundown of some of the most interesting stories you don't want to miss. In this brief segment we call Around the Patch. Expedition 64 arrives safely at ISS. NASA astronaut Kate Rubens and two Russian cosmonauts arrive aboard the International Space Station on October 14, returning a medical researcher to the orbiting laboratory ahead of the 20th anniversary of uninterrupted human presence in space. Docking the Soyuz MS-17 spacecraft to the station's ROSVED module occurred at 4.48 EDT after a two-orbit, three-hour flight. The Soyuz spacecraft launched on Wednesday at 1.45 a.m. from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. NTSB corrects media reports over high-profile TBM accident. The NTSB issued a statement this week detailing the actions the agency has taken since Friday, October 2nd in its ongoing investigation of the fatal crash of a Sokata TBM 700 airplane near Pembroke, New York. Tim LeBaron, Deputy Director for Regional Operations in the NTSB's Office of Aviation Safety, said in a quote, contrary to some media reporting, the NTSB is and has been since Friday actively investigating this crash. Our investigation of this crash does not solely rely upon our physical presence at the crash site. In fact, 
On-scene activity are but one portion of the many necessary to our investigative process. The new RAF Red Arrows team leader aims to inspire. A new Arrows team leader who previously flew Typhoon jets on the front line is about to begin training for the next display season. Squadron leader Tom Bull takes over as Red One for the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team's 2021 campaign. He said the team aims for the year will be to inspire people with an exciting show that has features to make it a trademark Red Arrows display. The 39-year-old is originally from Bradford, West Yorkshire, UK. EASA OK's increased takeoff weight upgrade for the A330 Airbus has achieved certification from EASA for its latest A330neo product enhancement enabling longer range. The 251 metric ton MTOW variant with more range and even better economics, the new variant now offers a significant 650 nautical mile boost in range or six tons more payload when compared to the A330 to 900's current 242 ton version. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Virgin Galactic preps for the first space flight from Spaceport America. The folks at Virgin Galactic are currently preparing for the first space flight from their operational base in Spaceport America, New Mexico, which will occur later this fall. The flight will be crewed by two of their pilots and will carry several research payloads in VSS Unity. In these final preparations, they report that they are working through a number of rigorous steps to prepare the vehicles, pilots, teams, and facilities, ensuring they remain focused on safety as their top priority. Ahead of the space flight, the pilots need to be well prepared for the flight test objectives with training of their own on the ground simulator with the pilots and as well as sessions linked to the mission control. In September, they disclose a via an application for a multi-year FCC license. That October 22nd, 2020 would be their opening of their flight planning window. This also includes preliminary test flight dates for the mothership. VMS Eve. After these messages, Type is ready out to take a ride on the B-29 Super Fortress. I'll have those details after the break. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Introducing the new ELT 345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter or ELT boasts an industry low price while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Tickets are on sale now for what will be the final 220 tour season opportunity for the B-29 Super Fortress, also known as DOC. The Flight Experience Tour will take place in three cities in Kansas to wrap up the 2020 tour season. The three-day event across three cities will include Wichita, Great Bend, and Olathe from Friday, October 23rd through Sunday, October 25th. According to Doc's Friends, Inc., as a precaution against COVID-19, masks are required. Next Friday, we'll begin the B-29 Doc Flight Experience rides and educational sessions. Then the aircraft will transition to Great Bend on Saturday with ride flights scheduled for 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. before transitioning to New Century Air Center on Sunday with flights scheduled for 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Tickets are on sale now for what will be the final 2020 tour season before the historic Warbird enters the scheduled winter maintenance period from November through March of next year. And if you're wondering how much a flight will cost, it's about $1,200. 
Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and of course on Twitter. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently operating on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday and Friday with Airborne Unmanned alternating with Airborne Flight Training each Wednesday. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next week.